A few weeks ago, an EB alumni passed away from an incurable disease. We all felt very sad, leaving us feeling powerless. I'm sure many of you know someone who has suffered from an incurable disease or is suffering far from an incurable disease. Well, in 2035, this may be a thing of the past. We will be able to cure incurable disease, and we may even be able to prevent them from ever happening. How? Well, there is a technology that is happening right now, and it's called gene editing. Remember those two words, gene editing, and they will become part of your common language as adults. What is gene editing? I'm sure that your science teacher will attest that you all know what DNA is. Well, DNA is your genetic material. It's in every cell in your body, and it is making who you are unique and wonderful individual. DNA, human DNA, contains 25,000 genes, about, and each gene has a specific function. Sometimes, one of these genes has a typo or a malfunction, which leads to an incurable disease. So what gene editing is doing is correcting that typo, correcting that malfunction, so that incurable disease could be cured. So let me walk, through, walk you through uh, the technology. So this is the double helix of DNA. What gene editing does is engineer very specific microscopic scissors that will cut specifically at the site of the typo in the DNA that is responsible for your disease. Those scissors are very specific and only will cut at a specific point in your DNA. Once the scissors cut, the typo is eliminated, and then the gene is being repaired, leading to a new and improved DNA, leading to a cure for your disease. It's as simple as cut and paste. However, it's taken years for scientists to do this in a very specific manner because we only want to change the typo. We don't want to change any other piece of DNA. So it has to be very specific. And this, in 2015, is happening. Just last week, there was a report in the world of this little girl who's been cured from her cancer using gene editing. What scientists have done is engineer cells that would be able to kill specifically her cancer cells, leaving her normal cells completely intact. And now that little girl is cured. So what else can you do with gene editing? Can you change the color of your eye? Can you build stronger muscles so you'll be a better skier? Can you learn faster, fast five languages? Maybe. Well, will that be, po be possible? Some scientists are actually already tried to change characteristics in animals. This is in the past few months. This is happening right now. A team in China has used gene editing to make micro pigs. They had normal pigs of about 100 pounds, and they edited the gene for the growth hormone receptor, leading to the birth of mini pigs, which are about 30 pounds, the size of a small dog, and are sold as pets for $1,600. Another team in October reported engineering dogs through gene editing to increase their muscle mass. This is happening right now. Curing the incurable, of course, this is the right thing to do. 
I'm sure we all wish something was different about ourselves at one point or another. But mini pigs, stronger dogs, superhuman? Is that the right thing to do? This is something for you to think about. This will be your world. There will be discussion. There will be laws, rules, policies, difference from countries to countries on how to deal with this. This is something for you to think about. What world do you want to live in? Gene editing is happening right now. It will be a fact of your life in 2035, it will be common language. It will affect career in science, in medicine, but also affect careers in government, laws, teaching. It will have implication for everyone in the world. Now I'd like to invite you to think, what would you do with gene editing? Thank you. Thank you.